All right, this is my video tutorial on how hooking up a subwoofer in your house, a car audio subwoofer. I've done a, actually a pretty good job as uh, the other ones I've seen out there. Um, I've got an Alpine Type R 12 inch um, dual uh, voice coil 2 ohm. And I have this old amp that I had in the basement out back. It's a two tsunami. It's a 500 watt amp. Um, RMS, so that should be uh, quite a bit enough to uh, drive the uh, the uh, sub. I got a um, power supply from a uh, computer. It pushes out, um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see clearly, uh, 22 uh, amps per uh, 12 volt rail. I got two 12 volt rails, which makes 44 amps um, cranking. And uh, I just took all the yellow wires hooked it up to the positive and one yellow wire and hooked it up to the remote and all and all the ground wires to the, obviously the ground and just removed all the wires and as to turn on the power supply you need to take the green one and the black one off the mother, motherboard um, big 24 pin uh, connector and merge them together to uh, turn on I have a switch out back of the power supply, I turn off, turn on, and that's uh, that's my sub. Works really, really good. It's just that the tunes that I have are on my iPhone, which I'm using to record, so I can't really uh, show you how it works. But at this end of the room. It uh, works very magnific magnificently. Uh, as you can see, I have a, quite a bit nice of a setup in my room there. I got my Sound Dynamics Towers. My nice uh, $800 Yamaha amp. Tower. And obviously my big 42-inch uh, LCD TV. And uh, that's what I have as uh, my setup. And I will tell you that my mom has complained quite often about her wine glasses falling off the shelves and breaking. Uh, I am in the basement, as you can see. And that's what it is, is what it is. And I'm sure you guys will have, um, it's, it's worth it. Like, if I put the sub in this corner of the bedroom, it won't be loud in that corner. It will be loud across the corner of the bedroom. So it kind of works in diagonal for car audio subwoofers. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Because they don't have tend to move enough air into uh, the atmosphere to um, make the bass reflect. So I sit in that chair and on my bed over there where my laptop is. And that bass is un ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Nice, clean, tight bass. It's also how good your enclosure is. I have a, a port out back, right there, it's, um, and it sounds ridiculous. Like, and then make sure you use a good gauge wire for um, your sound uh, speakers. And uh, if your amp supports 2 ohm, uh, you probably get more of a kick out of a 2 ohm stable amp. But if you want quality, I'd go with 4 ohm as I am. Quality and vibration. Just make sure I have a 600 watt power supply. I can't really crank the amp maximum because um, it'll kick off. Probably need like an 800 watt power supply. And uh, so that's about it. That's my uh, sub in my room. Alright. I'm just waiting to see if there's another song coming up on uh, Persona.
Well, that's my video. Any comments or questions, just uh, comment on the video and uh, be glad to help you with uh, your setup.